Now let's see this network architecture and let's see how the different devices are able to communicate with each other. This is my first network where we have three different devices and each device is connected to the switch here and these switches are connected to a router which helps both the switches to communicate with each other or which help these two networks to interact with each other. Now let's take a simple example how the network devices suppose this user 1 wants to pass a message to this user 3 or user 2 how the message is passed between these two users or between this user 1 and this user 6 so let's take this first example where user 1 will pass a message to this user 3 in the first network we don't have a direct connection between this user 1 and the user 3 the connection is established with the help of this switch so the message will be first passed to the switch network and this then the switch will pass the message to the user 3 which will then respond back to the user 1 and the response will again follow the same path from switch to the user simple case now the question comes how the switch will identify that i have to pass this message to this user 3 not to this user 2 or the other devices in the same network or not to this router this is handled by the cam table which is managed by this router or the switch itself routers are also able to handle this cam table in some case if you don't have the switch in the network you can connect multiple devices to the router itself if it's a wireless network and those routers also take care of the cam table but this cam table is used to transmit or to transfer data within network so if you want to transfer data within the network you generally follow the cam table for example user 1 wants to send a message to user 3 so if we talk about the cam table it has two common entries let me take a table here so we can better analyze the table in a format all right suppose the first entry is usually called as the port port refers to the physical or the virtual connection which is established between the two devices if we talk about the physical connection and if i go to google and search here for switch or network switch and if I go to images, these physical connections, so all these entry points where we can put the Ethernet connection to the device, these physical ports are usually handled here. Suppose my user 1 is connected to the port 1, user 2 is connected on the port number 2. So this is the first port, this is the second port and we have a lot more ports here. Depending on the switch size, we can have more number of ports as well. Now the second entry it corresponds to the MAC address. MAC address is the let me just write it here MAC address. MAC address is the address or let's say the unique identifier for the NIC card. NIC represents the network interface card all these physical hardware devices are required to interact with the other devices in the network or over the network as well so you need this physical hardware to communicate within the network or over the network and these are known as the nic card and this nic card has a unique identifier which is known as the mac address which is generally considered as media access control address in short we call it the mac address simple now we have the mac address and we know each of the hardware will be having a unique identifier which is completely unique throughout the world so let's say this first user is connected on the port number one and the mac address for this user one is let's say a1 colon a1 colon a1 the size of the mac address is 48 binary bits so if i give you a simple example 
and let's say mac address structure so inside the mac address the initial few bits are usually referred to the manufacturer and the last half of the bytes are referred for the identifier itself for let's say these are the simple example like cc 46 and d6 so initial 24 bits will be used for the manufacturer so each of these single character these are the hexadecimal characters and each character represents four binary bits so we have four then eight so this is an octet and we have three octets so each octet represents the manufacturer here so initial three octets will represent the manufacturer and the rest three octets will represent the device or the hardware itself simple so this way we can identify what different manufacturer have manufactured our hardware device so i'm going to use a1 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 just for the simplicity i'll keep it to three if you want you can write the whole six as well but the general size of the mac address is always 48 binary bits which has eight or let's say six octets six octets means we have 12 hexadecimal values and out of those 12 hexadecimal values the initial six hex values are referred for the manufacturer i'm simply writing as a menu for the manufacturer and then the rest six hex values are referred to the device itself for the device identifier right this way we have a 48 bit address for this mac now suppose device user one has the connect on the port number one and the mac address is a1 a1 and a1 if we go to this user two suppose that mac address is b1 colon b1 and colon b1 if you want you can add few entries as well but i will i'll simply keep it to two entries here now when you send a packet you always pass it from user one to the switch now switch will compare the destination address within the packet and then pass it to the simple device for example if i'm sending a packet from user one from the port number one and i want to send it to the user two now let me add a new entry here so i'm adding the port number three for the user three here which is the mac address is c1 c1 and c1 you can keep any mac address here and whenever the user sends a message all those messages are transferred in form of small packets so every message every large chunk of message and for smaller messages as well each message is converted into smaller packets and then each packet is transmitted between the sender and the receiver through the defined path and the path in our case is the user one will send a message to the switch and then switch will pass it to the user three simple case and to transmit that data switch takes help of this cam table in simple case now how the switch will identify that what is the mac address of the sender and the receiver all that data is already available within the packet which is sent by the user one and to analyze all those packets i'm going to take help for a software which is called as wireshark which will help you in analyzing the network packets right now i'm connected to this ethernet adapter and let me start analyzing the packets and here we can see we got our first packet now if you want to analyze the structure let's go to this edit option go to preferences and in the layout section i'll select this three pen and in this three pane option i'll select the packet diagram for my third pane now if you want you can pick any panel and if you want you can pick any form as well now if i fill these values you can see this is the particular packet that i'm wanting to analyze now this is an ipv4 packet if you see this is our 
different headers are available here and you can also see the different source address and the destination address and the other values as well including this you can also see the source and the destination mac addresses here and if you will see a little bit more let me just give you the better picture here just by increasing the font size and where's the font this one here and i'll take it to 16 let's say okay and done. now here you can see the destination is vmware e6 d283 and the source is a different machine here so these are the mac addresses for the source and the destination here we see this vmware underscore at the beginning because we know the initial three entries in the mac address are usually used to identify the manufacturer and in our case because we are working inside this vmware machine so we get this vmware here and the rest three are used for the nic identifier right so these mac address are already available within the packet itself and with the help of those destination mac address our switch will identify that i have to send the message to this user 3 or this user 2 here this is how a switch transfer a message from user 1 to user 3 with help of the cam table